how's it going welcome to my channel happy new year 2021 i mean will this year be better we'll see um anyways if you want to see how i got this look for new year's it's my new year's look please check out my last video because it's cute it's a three simple ways of doing a smoky eye look anyways guys let's get to this video this is gonna be an exciting video we're gonna be doing the best of beauty 2020 so these are things that i've discovered this year and these are th things that are just ride or dies i haven't looked at anything else in 2020 so i'm going to show you all those products so if you want to see all the amazing items and that includes hair uh, makeup uh skincare tons of awesome things then please stay tuned <laughs> Alrighty guys, let's get right into it. All the fun stuff. We're going to start off with my favorite palettes of all times. These are not, these are two that I did not discover this year, but these are my ride or dies and I think everyone should have them. Um, two different price points, really. <laughs> my first one is the ABH Soft Glam Palette. It is dirty because it is fa um, uh, velvet. And this palette is a love for everyone I know. Any of my family members, it does come with a double-sided brush. Look at these colors. Look at these shades. Stunning. They work amazing. Like, they are so good, so soft, and they just... It's a ride or die. I feel like everyone's heard of this palette. It's, it's a classic. It's going to be, I feel like, if you need a palette and you're looking for a basic, everyday kind of um just soft soft glam literally <laughs> soft glam i highly suggest this one because it's so beautiful so soft and just easy to blend with blend and use and i i just suggest this to anyone anyone it could be experienced it could be a basic b <laughs> user i'm telling you this is a great palette highly suggested now let's get into my other palette that i love and i can never this is a palette that I think was made for me, personally speaking, because I love gold. So it is actually the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Um, yeah, I don't even want to tell you. all. The, I'm going to have all the prices for these items at the bottom here. But this palette, I know, is expensive. Look how gorgeous this is. I know, I've used it a lot. It is all over the place. But how at gorgeous is this? I like a bronze, like like browns and gold looks. These are just gorgeous. You have a few pop colors on the three right here, which are stunning. Uh, this palette is so beautiful, uh, so easy to work with. Natasha is known for her uh, palettes and her eyeshadows, and I can't, I just can't. <laughs> I can't say any more about that. Let's get into the other ones because we have so many things to talk about. We're going to first start off with our primers. So I am doing makeup first. It's going to be makeup. So things that I use for makeup, that is. Um, I'm going to talk about my primers first. I have a few actually to talk about uh, because I feel like there's a different use for all of these. First off, I will talk about my Too Faced uh, primer. It's the Hangover Primer. It's one of my favorite. I have two of them already of this size. Um, I think I bought these at like uh, Marshalls of Winners because they had a whole big one. Amazing. I love this. I use this uh, and I use this. It's a Tarte uh, Slate clean uh timeless primer really amazing i enjoy this i highly recommend it is it super expensive actually both of these primers are expensive but a little goes a long way it is only like a little um like a balm kind of thing and i love it if you want to check out my primer video that i had i'll have the video right here i talk about primers a little more in detail and which ones i love the best that are best in the game but i also like the becca uh filter uh first uh, first light priming filter this if you're tired if you're hungover and if you just need to look a little more bright and awake highly recommend this you just put a little bit on your face you look glowy it's like a natural opal kind of opalescent glow to your skin it looks gorgeous i highly recommend this uh this is a great primer and it's beautiful really beautiful I want to talk about an eye primer actually that I absolutely love. I've been using this the most. It's the one that I've discovered this year. Uh, and it is the Pretty Vulgar uh, Eye Primer. I use this every single day. Look how much I've used. I use this every single day. I wear eyeshadow almost every single day because no one sees my lips. I wear a mask every day. So I need to, you know, pop up those. Um, I need to wear some eyeshadow because nobody sees my lips. So 
Uh, this is a great primer. I love it. Um, it works amazing. My shadow looks still great after 12 to 15 hours. Such a good primer. Very much enjoyed it. So happy that I discovered that this year. Alrighty, next, after primer, I do concealer. So let's show you what I do. I uh, my, actually, <laughs> let's not show. my, I don't know what I'm talking about, but my three, uh, my two favorite concealers of life. One of them I discovered this year, one of them I've had for OG life, and that is the Tarte Shape Tape. I have the medium, the light medium, and also the deep medium. So for all shades of the year, when seasons change and I get tanned or light, uh, this is the best in the game. It is literally high coverage. It stays on. I have dry skin. It looks still amazing. Uh, it just really looks the best. Even after 12 hours or 15 hours, it doesn't like get all creasy and weird. Uh, so I highly recommend this. This speaks for itself. It's already an OG. People love this. Uh, so it's a great, great product. So I also want to talk about the Dose of Colors um, concealer. I was wowed by this this year. This is the first time I've, I don't, it's not, I don't think it's new to this year, but it, it's something that I've discovered this year and I've enjoyed it a lot. It's just the Dose of Colors, uh, your, Meet Your Hue, uh, concealer. Amazing. Full coverage. I think that it's very close to the shape tape, actually. That's what I like about it. Great concealer if you're looking for something that's similar to um, uh, shape tape. Highly recommend this. Amazing. We're going to get into... Um, actually, I should have talked about this before the concealer, but here we are. We're just going about it. We're going to talk about uh, color correctors for your under eyes. I do have extremely dark circles. Um, I just inherit them. It doesn't matter how many sleep, how much my diet is, or what I drink for water, everything. Name it, I've done it. I just inherit dark circles. I also have a little, like, um, droop. It's not a droop. It's like a, it kind of sinks in a bit. So I'm just going to talk about a few of my favorite co color characters. I have the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. It is just a nice, like, peachy, peachy kind of uh, tone. All you need is a little bit. A little goes a long way. It really brightens your under eyes. I use this mostly when I've had no sleep. <laughs> or um, if I've, again, if I look extremely tired, I'll use it. I don't always use a color corrector because I get lazy. <laughs> but I would suggest for any of these actually to rub it on your fingers to kind of warm the product up and loosen it. And then lightly tap it just around the darkness. Don't overdo it. Only put a bit where the darkness is. And then I also have, you'll see, I hit pen on this. It's the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. This is actually probably one of my favorites out of all of them. Really great product. Highly suggested if you have extremely dark circles. And this is in the shade Medium Tan. Uh, the back one is, there's no shade. There's only one of them. So, uh, yeah. Highly suggest these if you're looking to brighten those under eyes and just look snatched. <laughs> Alrighty. Next, I'm going to show you my applicators that I use every single day for applying concealer and powder under my eyes because I think it's really important. I... <laughs> can't live with these products <laughs> cannot live without them i'm going to talk about my beauty blender i this is a ride or die product i have two other beauty blenders that i i just have on backup just in case i need it i love this one this is the mini version or not the mini version but it's just the under eye version which i need it's good enough i do have the regular one for next but i just ended up finding this on sale and i bought it so i'm using it and my also my beauty blender puff i don't want to show it to you right now because i did use it today but this guy if you want to just have something that's going to apply the powder underneath your eyes so perfectly and enough that it's not overdoing it, highly suggest these two products for applying concealer and stuff. So under your eyes, like powder. So let's talk about powder really quick. We're going right through these products because there's so much to talk about in this video. So this 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 is kind of dirty, but it is the Laura Mercier. Uh, this is the one I use for all over my face. It's the translucent one. And it's a loose setting powder. I literally just use a bit because, again, I have extremely dry skin, so I don't need a lot. And for under my eyes, again, this is an OG product. It's the Secret Brightening in the shade 1. This is life. It's by Laura Mercier 2. I'm telling you, I'd rather have this than this uh, because it's life-changing. Uh, so yeah, that is the two powders that I use religiously on my face every single day. Um, next, we're going to talk about bronzers my two favorite bronzers of life is the hula hula benefit bronzer 
and it's a gorgeous uh it's just a i think they're just regular shade because i know there's uh, different types of shades by them and it just looks like this and it looks it looks pretty light but when you apply it it's so beautiful it does come with a little brush i don't i haven't used this one yet because i am currently using a smaller one but i wanted to show you a nice clean one also, uh, my next bronzer that I love is by uh, Physician Formula, and it's the Butter Bronzer, literally ride or die. I've went through at least five or six of these. <laughs> They're so good. I have the deep bronzer and I have the regular original one, and I just, I, I wear it for whatever skin tone I have at that moment, if I'm tan or not. I'm telling Physician Formula, do not sleep on it. They have some great, great face products like bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. So let's talk about highlighters real quick. I'm gonna talk about my Physician Formula highlighter. And it's the Butter Bronzer in Champagne. I'm telling you, these, look at this, I hit pen. I don't even wanna open it because it's so gross, but one of my favorite highlighters out in this life. I love it. I didn't discover it this year, but uh, it's so good. This is something that I discovered this year. It's actually the uh, F Fenty Beauty uh, highlighter. It's not new again, but I've discovered it this year. Look how much I've used. And it's the Hustle Baby and Mean Money highlighter one of my i wear this every single day i absolutely love it they're gorgeous uh so one for the uh drugstore and one for the high end highly recommend i feel like the double pan uh fenty beauty highlighters are better than just the single pan just my personal view uh that's one of my favorites so another one that i've discovered this year for blush we're gonna get right into blush it's the ciate london and it's the marble light and dusk look at this it's gorgeous such a beautiful highlighter. I use this every single day because I love it. I know how it's going to look like. And it's so beautiful. I also want to talk about a, a, a blush that I don't actually currently have with me because I ran out. And it's it's by Physician Formula, but it's their... Um, I'll show you a picture right here. Ride or die blushes. I just tried not to buy any because I have so many makeup to go through right now that I'm trying not to be wasteful. But that those blushes, killer. Killer. I love them. Physician Forma, again, one of the best drugstore makeup out there. It is relatively a little more expensive than all the other brands, but I'm telling you, the product speaks for itself. It's still reasonably de decent. So I'm going to be talking about two different types of uh, eyeliners, actually. Uh, I love eyeliner. I wear it every single day. It's just something that I like. I feel like I look a little... I look a little tired without having some eyeliner, so I like to have eyeliner. I'm going to talk about my Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This is from a high-end brand. It's really good. I just discovered it this year, and I absolutely love it. It's super good, easy to use. It just has an applicator like this, and you kind of dip it in. Uh, it, it's, it's amazing. I love it. But for the low-end spectrum, I absolutely love it ride or die for the NYX um, Epic Ink Liner. I'm telling you, this stuff is literally amazing. I have it in brown. This is the brown one, and I have it in black. One of my favorite, I personally enjoy having an applicator like this, and you just easy peasy, throw it on. Amazing. Lasts all day. No smudging. Super black and matte. I personally think that if you're going to go for either one, go for this one dirt cheap <laughs> amazing i love it so yeah those two are my favorite eyeliners i wear them every day i'm very like other than concealer eyeliner and mascara is some of my favorite things to buy because i feel like I, I need them i wear them every single day some of my ma so talking about mascaras now i have three of my favorite mascaras of life one of them i is like an og i've had it for years not this specific one but i've used it for years and it's the telescopic by l'oreal mascara amazing mascara it's a really thin brush which is something that i'm not used usually into but it really just makes your lashes long and uh like just super long and just luscious i and it really spits up your lashes it just looks really beautiful i also use the uh bad gal mascara which i've actually kind of discovered this year uh it's such a great mascara i really enjoy it this is the one that I'm kind of using every single day. Again, it has that thin brush, so I'm guessing I'm into like those plastic brushes, which is really rare because I sometimes like the uh, bristle, like the thicker bristled one. And I also love, I haven't used it right now because I'm kind of using two different mascaras, but I do love the Tarte Shape, uh, sorry, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. Amazing. Look at that. It shows you how it kind of looks like. 
I've used this before. It is a great mascara. Um, it looks like in this tube right here, if you're looking for it. Really great mascara. Tarte has some of the best. Tarte and L'Oreal actually has some of the best mascaras out there. I do love the Benefit one, uh, but um, the Bad Girl uh, mascara is from Benefit. But I do find those two brands, Tarte and uh, L'Oreal, have some of the best mascaras out there. Out there! Alrighty, guys. So next, we're going to... Alrighty, talking about eyebrow products. First off, I'm going to talk about a powder. I do usually do use a lot of powder. I like a lot of powder on my brows instead of like pencils. I use the uh, ben, uh, the Bobbi Brown. It's just like two powders. I use a brush and it's the uh, medium um, kit. Really love this. It's so great. I love having like that nice powdered brows. I don't know. That's just kind of what I like. Uh, but for pencil, I am currently using the uh, Real Her, which I discovered this year. The Real Her, um, I am strong. It's just a brow pencil, really great. It's just a thin one, which I prefer. It has like a little applicator like this. Great product, easy to apply, just beautiful. And these are two products that I use all the time. I use the Benefit Gimme Brow product if I want a little extra something on my brows this is for what I'm kind of going out and I want to add a little extra something to my brows uh, adds color this is in the shade 3 uh, really nice I think I can go with the 3.5 I think uh, I should go a little darker because I've been liking a little bit of a darker brow um, and then I also use the clear brow gel which is something that I use every single day just to make my brows look a little more natural looking natural looking <laughs> Really great products. Enjoy both of these. Benefits and uh, ABH have some of the one of the best um, eyebrow pencils and stuff. But I do use a lot, so I I feel like I change a lot. But these are the products that I come back to all the time. So yeah. So let's finish it off with the makeup section with my setting sprays. So the two setting sprays that I cannot live without. I'm telling you, it's a little bit dramatic is the All Nighter by Urban Decay, one of the best OG products out there. Like this is amazing. I already have three bottles waiting for me to use again because I cannot run out of this. I don't use this every day. I use it only when I'm going out, which I don't go out these days. <laughs> and um, if I want my makeup to set up, set it and forget it. So if I know I'm having a super, super long day, I will use this guy, it's great. And I also love looking more glowy. I personally don't think that I, I, I feel like my makeup lasts pretty long overall. So I feel like I mostly want to look more like my makeup's kind of one with my skin kind of thing. So I feel like the, sh uh, the MAC uh, Prime, uh, sorry, Prep and Prime Fix Plus is OG. It makes your skin look so flawless. It just adds like, just blends everything together. Once you're finished your makeup, you just spray this on and just adds this beautiful, like, I don't know. It just looks like your skin looks like skin. So I prefer this instead of this. But if I want my makeup to last long, this is the this is the best in the game. So, um, yeah, these two amazing products. Highly suggest both of them. I obviously have used these for years, and, and they are not new to, to 2020. So finally, for my lip products, I feel like it's so hard. I have a thousand, a thousand mil, um, lips products that are literally the things that I hoarder the most. I love lip products. I mean, we don't, we wear masks every day this year, but I want to talk about two products that need to be out there and spoken to because it's what, some of the best products out there. And that is the, first off, I'm going to talk about my Fenty Beauty uh, Fussy, which all the lip glosses, I wouldn't even say this one, this is, this is my favorite, but all the lip glosses from Fenty Beauty are ride or die amazing glosses. Everyone should get one today. Go to the store. I mean, it's closed, but you know, order it online. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is the bomb.com. This isn't fussy, but all of them are beautiful. This is just my favorite shade. One of my favorite products of life. I love it. I wear it all the time, almost every day, actually. Uh, then some of the products that are kind of like, I don't think they don't, not a lot of people speak about them a lot, but it's the, uh, liquid lipstick by wet and wild i have a thousand of these but i'm just showing you some of these <laughs> I, I don't even have my favorite ones right now but the nudes in these oh my gosh so gorgeous but look at these gorgeous colors i'm telling you these are some of the best in the game liquid uh liquid lipsticks they're so beautiful so pigmented on your lips maybe one or two could be a little bit of a miss but most of their originals are absolutely stunning i, I feel like if you go for their nudes they're so beautiful. They're some of my favorite that I, I love. And I feel like Wet n Wild 
you got to get these. These are so gorgeous. Uh, and it's their liquid lipsticks, okay? So it's the liquid uh, cat suit matte. It's the matte liquid lipsticks. So they have a ton of names on them, but they are the matte ones. So I would suggest them if you're looking for good liquid lipsticks. And that is all for the makeup I can talk about. I have a thousand things to talk about, but I feel like these are some of the things that I always go to. And, and they're just amazing. So now we're going to talk about hair care because with great makeup, you want to have good hair, right? So let's get right into it. <laughs> Alrighty, for hair care, um, it's really important to me. I really focus on my hair a lot because I have really naturally crazy, curly, frizzy um, curls and I do straighten it all the time and I bleach it and I, you know, just highlight it. So it's good to take care of your uh, hair. Some of my favorite products of life. First off, I want to talk about a brand that it's like one of the best in the game and that is the Brio Geo products. I have the Don't Despair Repair Conditioner, one of my OG products that I've discovered from them from the beginning. This is the first thing I've discovered. I have a little tube of it right now because I am using this guy, <laughs> this guy. But uh, it is the best in the game. I highly recommend if you have dry, dry, damaged, <laughs> bleached <laughs> hair, use this guy right here because it's amazing. I leave it on for as long as I can while I you know shave and stuff like that do all my other stuff i'll leave it in my hair and then wash it out i use that instead of conditioner i think it's the best i also use the honey moisture deep conditioning it's similar to the don't just sit bare repair but it has honey i believe so far pretty good and really enjoy that product i love wearing masks instead of a uh, conditioner i don't use conditioner at all actually i use only masks um another mask that i've been using uh is the uh olaplex bond maintenance uh, conditioner. I use all of their products right now. I'm currently using the conditioner. I'm using their shampoo. If you saw my uh, Sephora's Sephora uh, VIB sale, you see that I got the kit from them. And it's the Bond Maintenance Shampoo. So far, really good. And I always use the, uh, I use this religiously actually, and that is the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. I use this every single time I wash my hair. So I'll put this in my hair. I put a bit of, um, I just put it all over my hair and I put it in a bun. I put a bag over it and I um, leave it on for two hours before I shower. I'm telling you, the it's the number three amazing product. This really helped my hair. It has, I feel, I do get regular trims, so I wouldn't say it's only that, but I do barely have any um, uh, split ends. I feel like my hair is softer, more luscious and thicker because of that stuff. I would say mostly because of this stuff. 100%. I It's one of the best in the games. This is a larger bottle. I don't think they send it, sell it anymore. They mostly sell bottles like this. Highly recommended. I mean, it is relatively super expensive, so maybe wait for a VIB sale, but one, number one in the game. So for all those are, those are the masks I use in my hair. I want to talk about some of like my leave-in conditioners. I use the Briogeo right now. This is the Briogeo, sorry, Briogeo. Um, it's the Farewell Frizz uh, Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I love this. Such a great spray. It's so good. I also want to talk about another leave-in, but not really leave-in. It's a, a heatless, like a it's a heatless spray. So right before I spray my hair, this is one that I've discovered this year. It's the Living Proof Restore um, Instant Proof Weightless Heat and UV Protection. I love Living Proof. I actually i have used the products only recently and I very much enjoy this. I use this right before I style my hair. Like if I heat it, I curl it, whatever I do, I'll always use a heat protectant and I love this guy. I also use it in combination with this guy right here. This is one of my OG products that I've used for years. And it's the John Frieda uh, Frizz Ease uh, Bamboo Extract um, Extra Strength uh, Serum. This is so amazing, guys. I use this I use this in combination with, I'll show you my other products, but as soon as I use my leave-in conditioner, I always use a leave-in, uh, like just an oil too. And I'm telling you, it just helps with smooth out the frizz and stuff like that. This is a product I've used for almost 10 years. I love it. Um, some of the new products that I discovered this year uh, would be the Wow Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. It magically transforms textured, amazing, uh, humidity, humidity proofing powers. I don't know, just a bunch of things. And it's it's an award winning humidity uh, salient. Uh, stops hair from becoming a hot mess, and it's even 
in uh, the hottest or highest humidity. So it's supposed to be a long lasting uh, three, uh, through three to four shampoos, I guess. I don't know. But this stuff is great. It's really uh, just a spray that I use. I don't always blow dry my hair because I like to air dry it so I have less damage. But when I do have the, no time and I have to get right to it, I always use this spray right on my wet hair or wet curls. And then I'll blow dry it with a round brush. This stuff makes your hair super soft, super beautiful and like frizz free. I really enjoy it. It's a product that a lot of people talk about. It's kind of gross because it's dirty a bit. But it's, you know, this product, you're touching your hair and stuff, and it gets all, you know, dirty. But really good product, highly suggested. So good. And I've discovered this year, and I very much enjoyed it. And last, one of my OG, OG products. I've probably talked about this a few times in my videos. But it's the IDK Good Behavior Spir Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. So it's a creatine spray. Really amazing. I use this. So if I'm air drying my hair, I don't go into the WOW product. I go into this product. I'll spray it all over and I use a boar bristle brush and I kind of clamp it with a straightener to straighten my hair to perfection. And this stuff has made the biggest difference. My hair looks so much less frizzy, softer and luscious looking and shiny. And it's also great because it has a 24 hour frizz control, 450 Fahrenheit heat protection. So always have a heat protectant in your hair because you don't want those heat, like uh, your curlers or your strainers to damage your hair. Highly recommend this, such a great product. Alrighty, let's get into skin care because without, you know, I feel if you don't have good skin, you, should, you won't have good makeup. <laughs> so let's get right into skin care and let's go. Skin care, we're going through a lot of product here. Um, I feel like I'm going to have an in-depth video soon about skincare because I feel like it should not be a fast, fast-ass video. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about two things that I absolutely love and can't live without, and it's the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And it just, uh, it gently cleanses your face. So these are something that I use beforehand. I double cleanse, so I definitely use this. And I also use it with this tool here. It's the PMD. Um, I don't know what it's called exactly, but... I really love it. It's just a vibrating tool and it has a little bristles here. Really gets right into my skin. It's just battery operated. Such a great thing. I use it all, every single day. I feel it gets right into my pores and cleans it out. And I absolutely love it. I love it. After that, when I've double cleansed, I will always go into a, pro a toner. I'm currently using this and I've discovered it this year and I absolutely love it. So far, I've been using it and I've really enjoyed it. And it's the Terry Mary... Uh, aloe and tree, tea tree oil sorry toner and it's supposed to be anti-aging so so far really enjoying that product um it's pretty good and i always use a toner i need a toner i always find with dry skin i need to exfoliate all the time i have a ton of exfoliators actually but currently i want to talk about something that i've recently discovered and it's the skin and co uh roma truffle polishing uh micro exfoliating truffle face gommage this stuff really good you just need a little bit just massage it around your face like in circular motions make sure to, to be gentle i highly recommend it i do this at least twice a week because i have extremely dry skin and i find it makes the biggest difference on my skin Alrighty, i'm running out of room here so <laughs> i want to talk about a moisturizers that i use i use two moisturizers i've been using the ceo vitamin c rich and hydration cream by sunday riley it's so good. I very much enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I just discovered this this year and I already run out. I'm almost out of this. And I've also been using the Glam Glow uh, Moisture Trip Omega Rich Moisturizer. Really enjoy this. I do like Glam Glow. It's such a great brand. Uh, I do like to use this mostly when I do uh, tools. I use like I use my I have like a skincare day where I just make sure to have my vitamin C's like so if I do microneedling and stuff like that I will use a vitamin C to kind of really brighten my skin all right and then talk about my eye cream I go through eye creams a lot but this is the one that I've discovered this year and that is the truffle therapy by skin and co Roma so again skin and co really good so far very much enjoyed this I have two of these already so I very much like it it does its job um I do go through a lot of eye creams I find because I just I don't know I I need to find the best and to find the best you need to try a lot so <laughs> I want to talk about something that's super important and that is um my two 
um, sunscreens that I've been using. One of them is I've just discovered this year and one of them is uh, that I've used for years and that is the Shishido Ultra Sun Protection Lotion and 50 plus SPF. It's a wet force and it's for face and body. This is a uh, really great, I love it. It does have a white cast, so I only wear this if I know that I'm not wearing any makeup. I'll just apply this, but for something that to apply with makeup, I've just discovered this year because of one of my really good friends, is the Bore UV Watery Essence SPF 50, and this guy right here, and it's the Aqua Rich. Um, it's the Aqua Rich, it's literally like, almost nothing on your skin, which I like. So. So I show you right here and you rub it almost like water, literally nothing in your skin. This is something that I personally think is so much better than this guy right here. I hate when my skin feels like there's skincare, uh, sorry, SPF on it, even though I, th I know it's important. I like something that I can apply and it just melts into the skin. I forget about it and I can apply my makeup and it's easy to go. So I highly recommend this. I did buy this on Amazon. You can find it, this guy right here. And this guy, you can buy it pretty much anywhere. Sephora, uh, any of the big department stores, you'll find that. Um, talk about some lip balms that I very much enjoy <laughs> because I obsess over lip, lip balms and I do think it's part of skincare. I use the Laneige uh, Lip Sleeping Mask in Sweet Candy right now, but I switch up, I switch them up as often as possible. And this stuff this smells so, mm, smells like candy, so yummy. I use this every time I, I sleep at night. Really great product. I'm literally like out of it. Such a good product. I will constantly buy it because I enjoy it. Something that I wear during the day is the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer and it's just a conditioning um, lip treatment. Really great lip balm. I enjoy this. It's such a good one. I've discovered it this year and I enjoy it. It's great. Love it. Alrighty, last few things are some tools that I've been using. Again, I'm going to get into detail with another video with skincare later on, but I want to talk about something that I really enjoy. I bought this like kit right here and it's just like an extraction kit. It's for like popping pimples, you know, taking blackheads and things like that. And it just comes with tools like this. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's a life changer. I really enjoy this. I will highly, I mean, I highly suggest always making sure to using, um, using um, like an alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol to clean these before and after use, always, always do that. I use that, I make sure to use an alcohol, rubbing alcohol base all the time to take all the germs away for any products I've used on my skin. So I think that's really important. I also use, so I don't know the name of the brand by the way, but I, I will have a little, uh, I'll show you uh, which one I bought on here. Then I have the Kitsch, um, it's like just a gold, sorry, it's a like a cold um, roller. You put this in the fridge or freezer, and then after you put your serums on, you just kind of roll your face, and it just helps depuff your skin, and it helps with a lot of things. It's just really nice to put on. I do it on my under eyes when I have feel really tired. I really enjoy it, it's a, such a great roller. And then my favorite roller out here is the um, Nurse Jamie roller that I've been using. I've been using this for a few years and I very much enjoyed it. Again, it's super cooling and nice. You can put it in the fridge if you'd like. I use this after serums. I use this after all my skincare. I just really like to lift my skin up, lift it up, <laughs> and I really enjoy that. And that is pretty much it, guys. A ton of skincare, a ton of hair products, a ton of makeup, and etc. So what do you think about this video? Do you have any favorites of, do we have the same favorites? Please uh, comment below or also comment some of your favorite products maybe that I need to discover because I love makeup, skincare, and hair products. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a happy new year. Um, maybe this one's going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, this is a really long video, so I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!